Good morning. Welcome to day number five of our six day hike in the Pitchard Rocks National Lake Shore on the North Country Trail. Um, it is just going to be another beautiful day today. The uh, it's just completely blue skies above. The sun's out. Um, the uh, temperatures. I mean, just oh, it's it's per absolutely perfect. Um, you know, I'm not you know you're hiking, so you're you, you get warm, but there's a nice cool breeze coming off the lake, and it's just uh, man, it feels just feels great. Um, and then uh, so I guess plan for today is to hike back to the um, to the trailhead where we uh, where we uh, parked yesterday and hiked in and then um, from there drive down a ways towards uh, Mosquito River or Mosquito Beach it's called and then hike in from there um, for tonight and then tomorrow I'll hike back out and then I'm back at the hotel for the photography workshop so um, that's the plan today pretty easy uh, the nice thing is I'm gonna drop off some more gear um, I've been carrying some extra camera gear and I just um, just I just don't need it so I'm going to um, hmm do you go left or do you go right? Right looks like it's an, a steeper climb. And um, left, I don't know where it goes. So, let's go right. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's carrying some extra, extra camera gear. I'm just going to drop that off because I'm not to get my, to take it on my last, my last day. I just want to go absolutely as slight as possible. Just uh, go in, enjoy it. And come out the views are supposed to be um pretty cool and i want to spend some time uh up and down the uh the beach it's kind of kind of my plan uh so last night holy cow so it's sandy i'll show you in a second but i just went up oh so you guys can't give me give me smack from being completely out of shape. Hey, here we go. So a lot of this along the lake shore is all just sand. It's not bad to hike in um, when you actually get back back in there a ways, but where you come up to a cliff and a bluff like this that has access down to the lake it makes it a little makes it a little tougher so I think we have reached what it looks to me to be the Beaver Creek campsite because that's definitely a fire pit and that's definitely a food storage box so there'll be some signs here somewhere so I can get back on track because uh, the trail exits exit somewhere all right let's stop for a second okay so I suppose I went right back there I probably should have went left that would have kept me on the trail but it was nice to see the the Beaver Creek campground it's uh it's a lot like the Pine Bluff one Find five sites central fire pit um, no, right right on the water pretty sweet and then just walk out here and this should be this should be the trail so off we go what a, just what a great great just great day so last night what an awesome time um my camp mates um are uh we're um uh, Andrew and his beautiful girlfriend Katie 
and um, they are uh, taking some time off. They just finished uh, pharmacy school, um, and uh, their next big destination is, uh, besides the airport, in a couple days, is the uh, is Boston. They managed to both get uh, jobs out of school in the, in the same area, so uh, they're uh, they're. They're pretty stoked about that. Um, had a uh, had a great time uh, sitting by the fire and um, just, just hanging out with those guys. Uh, just just really 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 fun. Um, was able to um, take a. Take a couple pictures of them this morning before they uh, before they departed, um, and uh, like I guess just really, really, really nice, nice people. Um, so, Katie and Andrew, if you uh, if you manage to to uh, stop by the YouTube channel, hello again, and. Uh, just wanted to say just what an awesome 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 time it was meeting you guys you guys are just really really fantastic they've been some places I want to go uh, you know a glacier and a couple other places that they've, they've traveled all over and I mean just just wow just really really wow um, yeah um, if you get a chance um, and you want to send me one of the photos uh, the emails you know below and uh, send it off to me and I'll make sure I, uh, I'll include it in the blog. All right, so we've made it back down to Beaver Creek. I wanna just show you a little bit about what's going on here because there is a log jam that's just insane. Hold on. So this is, this is where you come down. You can come down the stairs there from the campground or come that way from the North Country Trail and it turns and it actually, the trail continues this way. Um, but over here, you can see out that way is Lake Superior. I was there yesterday and um, picked up a couple souvenirs for Kate. Um, so Kate, if you're wondering where your uh, your new gifts came from, they're going to be right there, right on that beach, um, right as the Beaver Creek exits into Lake Superior. Just awesome. But this log jam, holy cow! I don't know if you can see it. It starts like right there. And it goes all the way, way back. I mean, it just keeps going. Um, I don't know. I'm really interested to know how this happens. If it's just trees and stuff getting blown down that wash downstream, or if all this stuff gets pushed back um, from the lake. Um, anybody knows, that would just be fantastic to have an answer, but wow, holy cow. Um, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of wood, but it is, uh, it's also pretty, uh, pretty awesome to look at. Just keep going here, show you. Looks like. Maybe I can step out over here and show you. So that's kind of looking through. You can just barely see through all the through all the logs. On the other side is the sand, and then you can see where the sky is. That's actually that's actually Lake Superior. So um, yeah, yeah. So crazy, crazy log jam. Um, so I don't have far to go today. Like I said, it's just um, going to backpack it back to the uh, trailhead. And then uh, from there, uh, jump in the car. I'm gonna grab, grab some good lunch instead of the stuff I brought because ramen noodles just isn't cutting it. And then uh, drive down to the next, uh, cobwebs, drive down to the next, trailhead 
and uh, start my adventure for uh, for this evening. All right. Well, we've managed to find a bridge, and it's time to go over the bridge. Let me show you this bridge. So it's really cool. The volunteers and the people that keep the path maintained um, build little walkways like this, little boardwalks. Hold on. So that you can get through muddy areas. There's quite a few of them. This one needs a little maintenance because there's obviously tree. There's tons of these blown down. I don't know if it's trees or lightning. But man, they're all over the place. And then um, the boardwalk walks you out here and it changes right here. And this is the coolest bridge I've ever seen. Um, it's just logs split in half. Uh, the flat part's down, the round part's up, and you just walk, just walk over. And then you got a couple posts over there on the sides to keep you from wobbling and flipping in. And you just, you just cross over. It's just, it's, it's, uh, it bounces. <laughs> And I mean, you can just see right, right through it. There's Beaver Creek. That's upstream, and the water's flowing pretty good. And this is this is the view downstream. Really pretty really peaceful never know what kind of treasures you're gonna find when you're just out hiking on the trail it's what a and now we got to go up that so Let's get started. And just like that, it is it's wet. And it's gonna be wet. This is all actually rock. Wow. Crazy. Alright, here we go. Often happens when it rains that the trail actually becomes part of the pathway for the water to run down and this looks to be no different except we 
We go this way and it goes that way. All right. I guess I'm guessing. So, good afternoon, or early evening, I guess. It's about 5.15. Welcome to part two of day number five of uh, hiking on the NCT in the Pitcher Rocks National Lakeshore. Um, this part, man, they went this is crazy. Um, As soon as you think you can start recording, you get into just a ton of mud. Um, this So part two consists of basically, I drove the vehicle to the uh, trailhead at Mosquito River slash Chapel Falls and parked there and I'm hiking in about, oh, I don't know. Not very far, maybe, maybe two, two and a half miles um, to, uh, to, to the campsite. Um, There's a, uh, I guess Mosquito River is there. And uh, it's also part of a, a beach, I guess. So I'm, I'm hoping I'll be able to get there and uh, set up camp real fast and uh, get down to the water, take in some views, catch the this, catch this sunset if I can. If not, oh well, it is what it is. We'll set it up. And, uh, you know, we just, worst case, we uh, crawl into the tent early and call it a night. Um, so in between the last segment, day five, part one, where I got off the trail at the Little Beaver Lake Trailhead, I, uh, I drove back into town. Ow. I think I got bit by a mosquito. Um, I drove back into town and uh, had lunch. And, uh, oops, here we go. And a coffee. And uh, looked at the map a little bit. And decided this would be the, uh, the best route to go. Um, not very strenuous. Except for the mud. Okay, short hike in, short hike out tomorrow. Oop, how are ya? Yeah, so short hike in, short hike out tomorrow, and uh, we'll be done. I've already checked with Erin at the Rome Inn. She says my room is not currently occupied, so if I wanted to get in early, I could. Uh, I might take her up on that. Just drive in, uh, take a nice hot bath, shower, and uh, maybe a, maybe a nap before the uh, before the photography class starts. I'm so stoked. Um, just super pumped. Uh, I guess it's kind of the nice part. Um, 
you know, trying to merge the photography piece with the hiking piece. Um, still so much to learn about both. I mean, hiking lighter and then more landscape compositions. It's, uh, it's not as easy, easy as, as it looks. I mean, I've been at some great spots already this trip. I've taken some pictures and I'm looking at the results in my LCD screen and I'm like, Ugh, who took this? So anyways, we got about, uh, I guess another mile and a half to go. So uh, I'm gonna stop for now so I can navigate my way through this crazy water and we'll see you down the way. The end of day number five. Good night. See you in the morning.